In this tutorial in CyberLink Color Director, we're continuing our tutorial on how to use the major tools available when you want to keyframe color attributes on a particular video. I have a clip I've placed on the storyboard at the bottom of the screen, and so we have it in the preview. And we're going to click on the Adjustment tab or button at the very top. And we're in the Manual section. We're going to experiment just using the saturation values, so I'll click on the arrow and expand that. And now we need to get into our keyframe controls. As we looked at in the previous lesson, you do that by clicking on the clock to the right of the word Presets. That will open the controls. Again, you can narrow or widen the part of the screen that they occupy, and we'll leave it about here for now. We have the opportunity to set some controls and magnify what we find up here in terms of our timeline markers. We've looked at that in other lessons, but let's just begin by changing a control. Let's assume we want to take the blue in this river picture and make it darker. So on saturation, I'm just going to simply move the slider a little bit. I don't have to move it much. That will immediately set a keyframe at this time point. It's at 10 seconds and 21 frames into my video. Now, because I have a keyframe here, it does not mean that it hasn't touched the entire track. If I have a single keyframe, no matter where I make it, it will take that value, in this case it's a positive 19, and apply it to the entire clip. And so I don't have to do it. In fact, if that's all I want, I can use the arrow key at the top to hide the keyframe panel and I can change let's say the purple value and I want to make that a negative one and it's changed it automatically to verify that I simply uh, open up my keyframe panel again and I would see that if I go all the way to the very left I have a keyframe set at the beginning of a minus one on the purple saturation scale I want to change any of them back to normal. I click on the arrow that points back to the left, and that will make the adjustments of that value what they were originally. I'll click on OK. It basically simply reset it to zero. So that's how you set a single keyframe. I can move anywhere I want to in the time of the program, either by clicking up here or moving the slider down at the bottom. They're tied together and then I can set a keyframe. Let's say we want the yellow to be intensified. I can either move the slider or I can click the up and down arrow and it will set a value. Again, to reset it, we just click to the left and do OK. So let's assume that at the beginning of this clip, I want the yellow to become a little more intense. I'm going to click the diamond to set a keyframe on the yellow saturation scale and then we'll move it up a little bit just to intensify that in our picture. There's a little nicer, almost a hundred percent. Now let's assume we want to go farther in and again we can use either slider, the one up here or the white one down here, and let's assume we want to back it down. So all I need to do is move my slot, my time indicator where I want to and I can either change the value or I can click on the diamond. Either way will trigger a new keyframe. Let's just change the value. Let's back it up a little bit. The minute I move it, even one point, it will set a second keyframe. Now, oftentimes, the default value, as in PowerDirector, is that if you have a keyframe with one value and a keyframe with another, it will automatically slowly increase or so slowly decrease between those two keyframes. And we're going to change the scale of our uh, object here so you can see both keyframes at the same time on the screen. So we have it slowly sliding down. It started, if I move the left and right arrow, I move between keyframes at 92 on the left. And then if I click the right arrow, the second one is 62. There is a different way to change behavior with color that you don't do in regular PowerDirector keyframe editing. 
And this is because oftentimes we don't want the color to gradually change. We want it abruptly to change because the cameras move to a different angle. We don't need that the colors to be exactly what they were. The lighting is different. And so we, in the same video, we want to make some adjustments, but we want them to be instant. What you do that's very helpful in keyframing in Color Director is you can right click on one keyframe and now I have gradual change from the current keyframe. That's my default. That's just like Power Director. But you can, I can do instant change at the next keyframe or instant change at the current keyframe. Let's try instant change at the next keyframe. I click on this and notice now the value is 92 until I get to the next keyframe and then it drops instantly to 62. Let's create another keyframe on our screen here and now we'll, we'll take the yellow value and we'll turn it to zero, the saturation value. And notice again the default is that this would be gradual. But if I right click on that, again if it's the last item I have, I can't make the change. So what I have to do is I have to go back to the previous keyframe and then I right click on it and I can say instant change at next keyframe again and now it's gone down from 92 keyframe 1 to 62 keyframe 2 and instantly down to a minus 100 at keyframe 3 and so you can stair step up or down or you can block up and down and I could go up as well, it doesn't matter. Instantly changing the values of the keyframe. Otherwise, what we'd have to do is we'd have to insert one keyframe and keep the value the same and then move another one a couple frames away and then radically change it. This saves all that extra keyframe work by allowing you to change the values dramatically and instantly at the point of the keyframe and not in a gradual sense. So when we play this video, uh, we'll back up a little few frames here and we'll play it and you'll, you'll see the color of the grass change as the green drops out instantly when we get to this location. Again, we were, we were very close to one another so it's hard to see. But that's what you can do. And you can do this same technique of stair-step changing the keyframe values instantly at the point of the keyframe as much as you want in your project. That's what separates keyframe controls in the color director from keyframe controls in power director. But it's a very nice tool to make some really quick changes as lighting and other things change instantly in your video clip.